Jambo and welcome to another episode of Coding in AL. Allow me to introduce to you a new series. This will be a series for building reports in Business Central. And uh, you can use reports to print or display information from a database. Ideally, we usually use reports to structure and summarize information and to print documents um, such as invoices. For example, you can create a report that lists all customers and orders that have been added by each customer. Also create a report that is automatically filled with the relevant information for an invoice. Reports are a key tool in the system in Business Central because this is the end result after you have done the processing. You want to see uh, the history of your transaction. What did you do? You can be able to get meaningful information that will help you make decisions as a user or you help the organization to make the decisions that they want to make. So mastering the art of building reports is a very important um, skill, skill set that will help you in your development i believe uh i think uh if i'm not wrong maybe 40 percent of your coding in business central will involve building reports because after you have built your product you will need to summarize the information in a way that people can be able to understand so this series will help you create a new report uh do grouping uh, are you able to do grouping in a report a look at the master detail report uh, processing reports and creating a report from a query and then i think for now you can stay tuned as we look at these types of reports here we just introduced the types of reports in business central you have a list reports which can contain a single data item and corresponds to the table that is listed e.g customer list so in a list report basically the convention is using the name of the table and then the list vendor list customer list etc etc so it can be the list from either a master table or a supplementary table and then uh, let's move forward to test reports test reports uh, is a report that is printed from a journal table its purpose is to test each line in the journal according to the same criteria that will be used for posting so instead of going and posting new information without knowing if this information will really post in the system yet you could be having an error you will use a test report to make sure that you can proceed to post without any problem and the posting report can be printed as part of the post and print option of a journal this report is printed from the register and has the same name as that register so we have examples like gl register vendor register etc etc and uh, they contain information from the register transaction reports contain two data items the first data item is a master table and the second data item is a corresponding uh, ledger table usually a transaction report lists all of the ledger entries of each record in the vendor table maybe the detailed vendor ledger entry or the trial balance oh no yeah the trial balance could be an example of a transaction report because it will list the main account and then the details of that particular uh, transaction and then there is a document report which is a document report they differ from other reports in that many of the fields are not displayed in columns an example of a document report is an invoice where the header information is printed as if filling out an invoice document and the information is repeated at the top of each page so you will have um header information and then but the, the lines will appear as other list reports so this is a document report like the way it like emulates the way the documents like sales invoices appear as well those document reports will only mostly have one header item it won't have information of two header items maybe if cell invoice number one you'll only have a document report for that particular cell invoice and you only click it on mostly either the list page or the card page and you'll it will filter to that particular uh header header item that's a document report for you and 
finally uh we look at oh okay then there's a processing report okay processing only reports and other reports processing only reports they don't have any output or print information but you know there are some you need to do some processing and the reports with the request page can help you add some more fields there some more filters that are not in the table that you want to process with it's a very good report for that and it can help you in doing that particular processing and uh, we have other reports uh, reports are more loosely defined than other application objects because they are often customized for a particular client e.g vendor catalog so you can customize the report not necessarily to fit this particular setting or setup that we have defined here you can have your own uh, report in a way that you want and this is what we want to look in this series this is just an introduction and if i open my application here we say that like we have the listing reports when we just say list you can see so many list reports uh, let me show all and then all these fixed asset list customer listing opportunity list so they are using the name plus list machine machine center list etc etc and the other one was register just search with register you'll see this is the naming convention even if you're building your own custom application this is the best naming convention to use if you have your own custom register name it like this like uh, customer register vendor register resource register etc etc and finally uh if there was this catalog um, test i don't know if a test report will appear here yeah here it is deposit test report and uh, job journal test all of them are here yeah uh huh, etc etc so they they test to see if the information is like previewing what you will do what you'll post later on uh processing only maybe calculate i don't know most of them have that and uh, document reports will need to go to a sales invoice or maybe a posted sales invoice and then from there we can now be able to view another particular report so this report will have this filter as you can see this filter has already been populated when you select it is populated with the filter meaning that it's only displaying for this particular document number yes and here it is we can maximize and then be able to see whatever we want from the report perspective and here is it here it is the sales invoice posted sales invoice and it is displaying information about the cell this particular sales invoice and uh, the line items have been listed as per other uh, reports that usually are available in the system i think that's it for this introduction of report building in business central so in the next video we will look at we will get started like we'll start now the process of building our first custom report please stay tuned this series will be very very exciting and informative in terms of reporting in business central for that may god bless you if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one